Elvis. Elvis, come. Good boy. We're trying to train him, but we found this little clear out. It's off of a park here that I come to. And uh, Elvis, no, no. I'm worried about Elvis, about him being off the leash. Uh, there's some trash back here. It looks like, ah, 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 ah. no, 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 no. This way, I'm trying to train him. Come up here. I'm gonna, I've got some bags in this, uh, in this pack. You stay back here, boy. You stay back here. No, no, uh, uh, uh. uh you stay. No. Uh, but anyways, I got some bags in here. I'm gonna pick all this stuff up before I leave. And, uh, hopefully we can get it, uh, get it cleaned up back here. This would be a nice little, uh, urban stealth camping area for sure but i don't know if i would stay back here because uh this path looks very well used and it looks like somebody you know could definitely you know come up in here on you so it, it's definitely well used so you know i'm in the city and uh you know we just have to be mindful of you know, there's houses, there's a neighborhood right behind me. But like I said, somebody has cleared this out and somebody does stay back here for sure. So we need to we need to kind of be mindful and watch what we're doing. So anyways, that's not what this video is about. Uh, this video is about a stove, uh, this little Amazon rocket stove here. Let me get it out for you guys. And that's what uh, Elvis carries. He carries his food and that outward hound uh, pack. He carries his food and he carries his water. I figure he can at least do that. So, but anyways, I've got my stove in here. We're gonna boil some water and see how fast we can do it. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you the stove. This is my little my little pot here. Uh, keep that right there. I put these this tape on here for right now because I don't wanna uh, I don't want this flopping around, so I keep it together. So here's this little gas one uh, little stove. It's a little Amazon stove. It's awesome. Weighs all of like eight, nine ounces. I'm pretty sure it's like right at nine ounces. Might be lighter than that. I can't remember. But uh, my only complaint about this little stove, guys, it's twelve dollars. But the only thing my complaint about this stove is these little uh, these little outriggers here. That's my only complaint on them. They don't really, uh, they need to lay flat. That's as far down as they go. I feel like they just need to go flat right there. So anyways, let's get some uh, water in this thing. We're gonna see how fast we can boil some water. Now it's like, I don't know, it's probably like 45 degrees out here. I can't get you guys cold, cold conditions because I live here in Tennessee. So, you know, it doesn't get super cold here. And I guess super cold to some of you guys is like below zero. So, and we rarely ever get uh, conditions like that. So, okay, grab some water here. But, I mean, for $12, guys, uh, you can't beat it for sure for 12 bucks. All right, let's get some water on. And uh, now, this thing has a piezo igniter on it. I wouldn't uh, uh, rely on that. So, you know, bring oop, bring a lighter or something just in case, uh, you know, you drop it like I just did. Mine's got this big old honking can on it, so I'm not really... She fired right up, buddy. So we're going to crank that sucker wide open to see how fast we can get some some water boiling. We're gonna fill this up. Get our little things out. I'd like to get some uh, titanium, really wood, uh, because this cup doesn't sit very well on this uh, on this little stove. But she's sitting good there. See uh, Elvis in the background chewing on sticks. There we go. I've got him tied up. 
he just wants to wander off too much. He's not used to this stuff. This is technically his first outing like this, so, you know. See how fast we can get this stuff uh, boiling? We're at three minutes right now on the camera. So, let it rip. I'm not doing anything with this water. I just brought it out here to do a review on this little stove. Uh, I have used it. I have cooked sausage on it. Uh, cooked some eggs on it. Uh, let's see here. We've done it all outdoors, but you know it's been uh, it's been pretty good so far. But I want to bring it outdoors and test it really good before we actually start going some backcountry camping this year. Elvis is about to knock his water over. There it goes. <laughs> He's just constantly, constantly moving. He doesn't chill. Just constantly moving. But. We're at one minute right now. I know it's hot. I know it's hot. Oh yeah, it's got bubbles at the bottom, so it's not gonna take long to fire that up. Uh, we probably have hiked, not, I mean, I say hike. We've probably walked about, probably a half a mile to get where we're at. Uh, so I literally was just finding the the best spot to kind of just go up in some woods. And like I said, this has all been cleared out up in here. And I don't know who's done it, but uh, you can tell it's very well used. So, you know, like I said, we I wouldn't do any kind of urban stealth camping here. We're almost about to roll up on two minutes. But like I said, I wouldn't do no urban stealth camping up in here. Uh, for sure, because like I said, I wouldn't want somebody to walk up in here on me. Uh, and you know, urban stealth camping, you're not going to have a fire. Uh, you know, definitely wouldn't want to have a fire. But you know, you got your stove like this, things like that, that you know. Yeah, alright, so we're over two minutes. That is pretty hot. It's about to go. It is about to go. Almost there. It's got to be rolling out. Oh, yeah. It's not a full boil. There she goes. There she goes. All right. There it is, guys. It took about it took about three minutes to get it where like it is right there. I'm going to take it off. Ow. That's hot. Take it off. Pour that out. There we go. Um... Uh, it's a great little stove guys uh, I really like it and uh, it's super lightweight very backpackable I want to get one of the smaller cartridges for whatever reason you can't buy cartridges right now because well they just don't have them so the only ones they got are these big massive ones so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys I highly recommend the gas one for sure uh, like I said, these little tines, these little uh, pot holders, uh, they need to make them go flat, I feel like. I don't know what the, the design was to make them like that, but, you know, it is what it is. But uh, for, for 12 bucks, you cannot complain about it. So, these fold back up nice and easy. Fold them in like this. It's still pretty hot. When they get hot, they're kind of hard to fold back in. Uh, well, anyways, I'll get them back in here in a minute. But anyways, there it is, guys. The gas one. Uh, little rocket stove. 